Hello everyone, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. It's still January when I'm filming this, so I feel like I'm still allowed to say it. It's morning here as I film this. Um, I woke up not long ago, I got a bit of a sleep in today, which was very much needed and very much appreciated. So now we're about to make some breakfast. Now, I know why you clicked on this video, and it's not to watch me make breakfast. However, I'm very hungry. As we have a little chat, I'm gonna assemble that, and uh, and then we'll get to the to the main event, which is not me, but in fact, my new dog. I film so rarely now, and yet every time I get the camera out, it's like that's when everyone in my surrounding vicinity decides to just make a lot of noise, you know, sweeping, talking loud, vacuuming, um, we must persevere. So let's make me some yogurt. God, all the berries that one person could want in their breakfast. That is pretty impressive, little berry tower. Should this be my thumbnail? All right, so I'm gonna do a nice little mix of fresh fruit. One thing I really love about living in LA, or I guess this would be the case in, in California, there's like always a supply of fresh, Berries. You can buy berries in Toronto in the winter. They're just not going to be very good. And I feel like here, you just get good quality berries year round. And it's such a delight because it's how I, I mean, I eat berries with pretty much every breakfast. I don't know how I want to format this video if I want to start talking about the puppy now, if I want to talk about her after I've shown her to you. I didn't really think this through. I just got the camera out and said, today's the day. It's 25 degrees outside. It's going to be sunny. I'm going to feel good. Also, it's 25 degrees Celsius outside. It's the middle of January. This is incredible. Let's do this. I'm gonna chop these berries and then we're just gonna get to the main event because that's what you're all here for, I know. I'm gonna give the people what they want. I'm not gonna hold you in suspense anymore. By the way, if any of you watched my brunch with me video from October where I made the, oh, where I made like the French toast and I did that super annoying cryptic. Something exciting is happening soon. The dog is what I was talking about. Really, really held out on you, didn't I? We actually did get her in October. I feel like making a video introducing her was really what I needed to do before I filmed anything else because it felt really awkward to, to sh try to shoot any type of vlog and just completely ignore the part of my life that involves a dog, which is like now a huge part of my life. And I also didn't want to vlog and just be like, oh, that's my dog, by the way, and then move about my day. I just felt like that would also be sort of strange. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't have been, but I wanted her to have her moment, you know? I wanted her to meet you guys properly, formally. Cute bowl, cute berries, cute jeans. I wanted to film an introductory video with her. Unfortunately, after the first maybe three days of having her, I realized that puppies are a nightmare. The marketing team for puppies, you've done an excellent job because you fooled everyone. Let me tell you this, they're very cute, but when you have one and they're your responsibility, the cuteness, it wears off real quick. I adore our dog, but I will never get a puppy ever again. Um, it was too much, it was too much, um, it was so stressful. Granted, I didn't grow up with dogs, so that was that probably contributed to a lot of things because you have no point of reference. Thankfully, we have a, a huge community of friends out here who, who have animals or grew up with animals and were like a massive help, but at the end of the day, it's just you and your puppy. And um, let's just say for that first month, my favorite part, was when she was asleep. And it's sad now because you look back on that time, I'll like look back on photos and videos and she was so cute. And when I see another dog of her breed that's a puppy, I just can't even believe she was ever that small because I, I truly think I've blocked a lot of that part out because it was so, it was horrible. This is not a great way to start this video, it's so negative. Um, but I'm being honest because this is not to like discourage you from getting a dog because she truly brings me so much joy now. When when I when we first got her, I thought she'd be a great like emotional support animal, great for my anxiety. And in the beginning, I, I have to say she was just a huge contributing factor to those things. Yeah, it's, it's all wonderful now, so don't worry guys. But it took me a minute. I think it took her a minute too. I don't think she was that into me in the beginning either. So now now we're now we're like this. I'm sure if you grew up with dogs. <clears throat> it's less difficult, you know, any little noise she was making, any behavior she made that I thought was out of the norm, 
uh, would just freak me out. I'd be Googling and of course that's never a good idea. You know, and if you're like me and you've prepared and you've watched all these videos and you think you're ready to raise this puppy, to train this puppy, but then you get the puppy and the puppy is essentially a baby who knows nothing and doesn't really care that you watched a bunch of videos and it's gonna do what it wants to do and you're gonna just be panicked for weeks. So I did document some things from her first few weeks of being with us that I'll include in this video. I wish I had done more because I was really excited in the beginning before <clears throat> like the fear and stress and lack of sleep really set in. So I was really good at documenting stuff and then I feel like eventually the documentation sort of stopped. Now that I'm in a better spot, I feel like I can look back and sort of have a chuckle. If any of you have raised a puppy, please let me know if you relate to this. But I will say this, and this is very important. Everyone who knew I got a dog and was asking me how it was, and I was telling them it was really, really, really hard. Every single person validated how difficult it was to have a puppy. And every single person told me how worth it it would be when they got bigger. That is 100% true. All of it was worth it. She's like the joy of my life. She's amazing. In fact, she's now able to sleep through the night, which is a development that happened about two weeks ago. Very exciting. Highly recommend getting eight hours of sleep. Um, okay, I think we've waited long enough. Let me show you the woman of the hour. Hi, everybody. This is Billy. Say hi. Okay, she doesn't watch, she's uh, not interested. Um, here she is, her name is Billy. She is a red toy poodle and she turns six months next week. Is that right? You don't know, you're just a dog. I don't know, I've already talked, I already talked shit about you, Billy. I don't know what else to say. She is in need of a haircut, which she's getting next week. Toy poodles are a breed that don't shed, which we love, but because they don't shed, you have to get them groomed every like four to six weeks. I actually really like the, uh, the longer look, but I also want her to be able to see out of her eyes. And I feel like that's getting difficult for her. <laughs> she is very sweet. She's very smart. Um, we now have <clears throat> a barking dog. Guys, there's always something exciting happening on this channel like terrible sound quality so there's really not much i can do other than be grateful that billy is not also barking thank you very much for saying hello i'm gonna put you down now because i think you want to play okay i'm gonna wrap this up because it is just planes and dogs barking and i don't think that's fun for anybody but um that's billy you've met her we're now all acquainted you will be seeing her in future i did post a few photos of her on my story over christmas on instagram so if you're following me on instagram you would have seen it first, folks. I'm now gonna go eat my breakfast, but I will leave you with some videos of her from when she was very little that I took on my iPhone. And um, hopefully you enjoy them, because she's very cute. <laughs>